What is it? Sensitive? I just did Sagittarius. Uh, I did Water. I did Fall. Gemini! What's poppin' Gemini? How y'all doing? Uh, so all that I'm coming in on you is wanna be a baller. I just, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius because I just left Sagittarius reading with that song. But, hold on, let me scratch my legs out. Ooh! Uh! It's 73%, right? Waxing Gibbous Moon, my bad. Current moon state we are in, Waxing Gibbous. Now, Waxing Gibbous calls us to have trust, faith in the process or whatever you are trying to manifest. Anybody, Everybody could be manifesting something different. Somebody could be manifesting a new business. Somebody could be manifesting a new house, a new car, whatever it is for you, new relationship, present place of thing, idea, mindset, habit, whatever you are manifesting around this season, around this time. Waxing Gibbous Moon wants you to have faith in the process, but faith without works is dead. So though you may have faith right now, you are still supposed to be taking action. We are 73% in the last and give it's moon. All right, so keep that in mind. Now, swipe back to notes. The moon is in Scorpio. Scorpio. Getting ahead of myself. Stop caller. Honey Impala. Uh, moon is in Scorpio. Highway. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucking jam, bro. Um, moon rules our unconscious thoughts, things we don't think about, the actions, the emotional reactions and actions we unconsciously do. The, so it's like our instinct almost, the, the ones we don't think about. How you emotionally react to things that will bring out emotions to in you. Unconsciously, all right. Now, Moon is in Scorpio. Scorpio's ruling house is the eighth house. Eighth house is the house of sex, death, and loss. And the ruling planet for Scorpio is Pluto. Pluto is the planet of death, evolution, transformation. Right? I said that right. Yeah, death, evolution, and transformation. So, that being said, on a positive note. You may feel real passionate and driven about changes in your life or to make changes. Those changes could be financial changes, relationship changes, business changes, or mental changes, okay? You may feel extra passionate to take those actions. Try not to be too passionate and burn yourself out because, again, you, you, you could go gung-ho about something now and then once once we get out of the Scorpio moon, which is tomorrow, tomorrow we're in Sagittarius moon, you, you look at it from a different perspective and you just think like, damn. Why'd I do that? Damn, why'd I act so hard about that situation? Damn, I probably shouldn't have went this hard about that situation. You feel me? Try not to get washed up under it. You, you feel me? I'm telling you what the energies it is so you can ride the wave, get splashed by a couple waters instead of being up under the currents, getting getting hit with all the esoteric feelings and emotions. You feel me? So that's the positive aspect. Positively, you may be feeling extra passionate about people, places, and things in your existence. You, you may want to transform a situation, a relationship, a business, or a mind frame, or you just want to put a stop to a relationship, a business, a mind frame. And so if you planted good seeds, if you planted bad seeds, you gonna feel you may feel extra driven to be destructive, vindictive, or jealous right now. Okay, that one motherfucker at your job, the last, the laugh they last laugh. That one motherfucker on the highway done cut you off for the last time. It seemed like it's the same car every time. Now you about to bring hell to that shit. You feel me? You gonna, you gonna, once you gonna follow him and then when he park, you gonna put nails behind his tires and when he back out, you gonna slash all his tires. You feel me? You gonna put salt in his gas tank. You feel me? Try not to, try not to be OD on the, especially Scorpios. When Scorpios sting a motherfucker, y'all sting a motherfucker. All right? If you planted bad seeds, you might end up trying to sting somebody, fuck around, sting yourself. You gotta be careful, all right? It's, you, the, the emotional waves we in right now hitting hard, it's crashing, they crashing. All right, you come, be easy, all right? You motherfuckers not Aquaman, all right? We humans. So once these waters hit us, they hit us. Try not to be too vindictive and just like, just, it, it, the fact that it is our instinctive emotional reactions to things makes it a little harder. Just pay attention to the things that make you emotional and how you feel and how and think before you speak, goddammit. All right? Think before you act as well. Now, that's the moon. The song that's playing for you is Shake Your Tail Feather there, Scorpio. 
again, hey, and the po- I guess you could say a positive asset. Hey, you might be real horny right now, cause that's that's another thing Scorpios got. Planet is uh, house sex, house eight house of sex. So think about that too. You might be extra horny right now. If you didn't know, now you know. Now you know why, goddamn. You 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 real watery right now. You feel me? For the ladies and for the fellas, listen. Take it easy, guy. Take it easy. Next. That's the houses. Ah, today's Monday. Monday's the day of the moon. Now, if you've been keeping up, Sunday is the day you go to your thinking chair, your esoteric, whatever puts you in the space to come up with ideas that you want to manifest. Sunday's the day you make a list of the business ideas, the people, the places, the things, the habits, the ideas, whatever you want to manifest, you make a list of things you want to wheel into your existence in the upcoming moments, right? Now, upcoming moments could be days, weeks, hours, minutes, years. You man, you want to manifest something. Sunday's the day you write down what you want to manifest. That's one thing, two things, ten things, fifty things, right? Now, today's Monday. Day, Monday is the day of the moon, feminine day. Now, you wrote down your list on Sunday. Monday, Monday come around. You look at that list, check it twice, and pick what you want to manifest in these upcoming moments and build a plan for it. If it's a business, build what tools you're going to need, what, what assets you're going to need, what merchandise you want to sell. You feel me? You're laying out the blueprint on how you want to take action towards the manifestation you chose, okay? Uh, don't forget, we are Wax and Gibbous right now. So, if you are building on a previous business, build, adding more ideas on a previously built structure, then keep continue to do that and put all your faith into that. Just put have faith in the process and go hard at it, okay? If you are starting something new, have faith. And faith without works is dead. So have faith and put action behind your faith. And you'll be Gucci. Now, Sagittarius. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius there, Gemini. But, yeah, I'm going to pull three cards for you, Gemini. Tell you what space you're at or what space you're about to be in. And we're going to keep it pushing. Whoo! Gemini. Look, okay, how we do, 50 Cent, the game, oh, this is how we do it, Gemini, you working right now, you, it's either you are dedicated, you, you, you got your eye on something and you plan on manifesting that, or in this current space, you working, you not in your head, you probably got up out your head about a situation, and now you working. You like fuck it. I don't give a fuck about that no more. I got I got a passion. I got an idea, and I already had a mentalities and structures built upon that. I'm gonna just continue to build upon what I already got. Or if we starting something new, it's like I got an idea. I got a passion. I thought about it a little bit, and now I'm ready to take action towards it. But regardless, you are in the space, or will be in the space, or if you're not in it, you should be in the space of working right now. Now, you could be working towards a person, place, a thing, third dimensional, fourth dimensional, thought, feeling, habit, or idea. Boom. And you, it's like you are working because something didn't work out. Uh, it's like a foundation. See, I want to say home because four or four ones typically relates to home, but it's like something you deemed home, something you deemed, I want to say comfortable. Something you thought would be, build you stabil- bring you stability, didn't bring you stability. Something you thought would work, didn't work. Something you thought would bring, bring balance and bring celebration is not bringing you balance and celebration. And because it's not, you're, you're, you are in, you are in, it's like you're in your own lane now. It's like, fuck what, fuck what you got going on over here because you thought it would work. The energy's out. So at one point you thought this would work. You thought what you were, you were working towards would work. But then it's like, it ain't work out. So, or something didn't work out. And now I put you in the energy space of, fuck it, I'm focused on myself. Look, yeah, that's you sitting on there thinking about, should I even take this off of Because I know it's a bad idea. It's not going to bring me the stability and balance I want. Not going to bring me the celebration I want. You see them motherfuckers in the back cheering. So I don't know if I want to take that offer. I don't know if I want to take those emotions. I don't know if I want to listen to that thought. Listen to that idea I just got. I'm just gonna keep on working with our what I already got because it, I know if I keep doing what I'm doing, eventually I'll be balanced. Look, shit don't make. Look, come on, bro. What's on the bottom? Ooh. Yeah, I know if I keep working, if I keep working towards what I'm working towards now, 
it's gonna bring me to a state of balance. Cause that, two of pentacles. Now if I flip this, I gotta flip this and I gotta flip that. It's like you weren't working towards something and it's something it, because something outside, it's like you weren't working, but you, you could, but you still wanted a celebration. You still, it's like you, it's like you thought something you weren't working on would bring you stability, would bring you celebration, and ultimately it was an unbalanced situation. That's why you started working on something. You left whatever this was alone so you could bring yourself balance. Whatever this is, this could be a person, place, thing, or idea, but this is the one, this is you, this is two, this is another perspective of the one, and this is three. This is the outside of the whole scenario. This is like the outside looking in type shit. So because you left something alone, you, you left some type of situation you thought would bring you celebration, or you thought would bring a celebration. You left it alone to work, and because of that, you're balanced now, or you're restoring balance to whatever situation you are in. Again, this could be for anybody, so take it as it resonates for you. It, I could be talking about a person, a place, a thing, or an idea, thought, or feeling. But regardless, Gemini, that's what I got for y'all. Mahalo, ciao.